This is probably our, the biggest crowd we've had for a cooking show. The farmer's market has absolutely been huge. Uh, we're getting back to a lot of normalcy out in our communities. Uh, really appreciate everybody coming out and enjoying our farmer's market. You guys like the farmer's market? Yeah. All right, that's good. It's, it's been a lot of fun getting it going and uh, uh, having a lot of fun. The one thing that was important that we started last year, we felt a big need for a cooking show to show different things that are going on and getting different cooks, uh, different chefs in our community to come and talk about what they're passionate about, their favorite recipes, and, and, and we had some great chefs. You know, Chef Bobby's a regular here. Um, we had a um, Watermark came in last year. We've had a, um, Chef Louie from Gilbert's. So we've had a lot of, uh, a lot of different chefs, and I'm, and I'm really honored today that we have a, a, you know, a great new little restaurant that is just putting great food out in our community, full of flavor, and it's like uh, I've been going there a little bit on myself, and uh, the meatloaf is fantastic. Thank you. Um, and just some of the other items uh, I've had has been really good. But it's my honor to introduce you to uh, Amy and Chef uh, Shannon, the owners of the Corner Kitchen, and let's give them a big round of applause. Thank you, Henry. Well, it's cool to be, we've done three different TV stations since COVID hit. We've also done a Yelp uh, cooking event. And uh, when I was on Channel 4 the other day, I looked into a screen and saw a Channel 4 logo. So it's actually nice to see faces. When we're doing Yelp, we're looking at a screen. So we're very happy to be here. I'm probably gonna say watermelon gazpacho instead of stuffed cabbage because that's really popular. And we have some of that for you folks to try as well. Henry, the recipe to this will be on your website It'll tomorrow. Yep. Um, website and Facebook. Okay, website and Facebook. So we're going to make stuffed cabbage soup. What I tell anybody, make recipes your own. You know, if you have, if you're vegetarian and you don't want to put in the ground beef at the beginning, don't put in ground beef. If your doctor says quit eating red meat, put ground turkey in, put ground chicken in. So. We're, we're going to give you a base for this, but you know, make it make it your own. If you don't like, you know, if you don't have beef broth at home, make it with, with chicken broth. So there's always options. Make things your own. Make you know, if you don't like something, you know, don't put it in. So we're going to start. Um, uh, hopefully this will work out well here. Obviously a little bit of olive oil. Feel free to ask questions as we're going along as well. Don't be shy. And we'll start out with uh, ground beef. We have a pound of ground beef to start with. Should be able to hear the sizzle. Maybe not on the uh, on the microphone. There we go. Did you bring coffee? No. All right. We do have some other items here today. While the get the ground beef cooking. We have some delicious breadsticks that we uh, carry at the restaurant. When uh, COVID hit, the exact day was our eighth month anniversary. So Amy and I kind of looked at each other and said, sorry, um, we've got one option. You know, we're, we're eight months old and if we stop, I don't think we're gonna be able to start back again. So we buckled down and uh, we added some grocery items. We had to take out uh, some of our tables. So we added some grocery items. We have some delicious Sicilian olive oil. We have some, uh, as I mentioned, the breadcrumbs are absolutely bread. We actually do sell our own breadcrumbs. Breadsticks <clears throat> are delicious as well. And some other grocery items. Um, we also have homemade gelato that we partner with a company out of Plymouth that we order it on Monday. They make it for us on Wednesday and they deliver it Thursday. Uh, several different flavors there, just absolutely delicious stuff. Uh, we also have homemade hummus that's made uh, in Oakland County. Same thing, we order on Monday and they deliver it on Thursday and make it, actually deliver Wednesday and they make it Tuesday. So we try to keep everything that we do fresh and clean. We have a lot of people that just say, you know, we love your place so much. You can tell everything's homemade. Nothing's, uh, somebody was talking about meatloaf the other day and they had it somewhere else. 
and um, you know, just said, you know, it doesn't compare because of the freshness of everything you folks do. So we pride ourselves on that, uh, including our soups. We will be picking up on that. We'll have soups in our grab and go every day. And um, during winter, we have anywhere from six to 10 soups every day available for you. So ground your, get your ground beef cooked in here. And again, if you don't have ground beef at home and you say, you know, let's make this, you know, kind of empty, empty out the, the refrigerator at night and you happen to have some cabbage and onions and carrots, you, you know, use ground chicken. If you're vegetarian, as I mentioned, it, you don't have to put beef in, you know, start out with a mirepoix with your diced onions, your diced carrots and celery and, and go from there. So the beef is nice and browned up here. And also, if you're, you know, if you're trying to cut down on uh, cholesterol, anything, and you want to drain this, the recipe doesn't call to drain this. If you have, you know, a higher fat uh, beef around for whatever reason, you know, feel free to drain it out a little, and um, you know, again, make it your own and, and do, you know, do how you want to have it. Make it nice, taste delicious for yourself. A little more salt and pepper. All right, we're going to add our onions right now. A little messy. And a little bit of crushed garlic. I wish we had a camera right here down below so you guys, everybody could see here what's going on. So just incorporate that real nice. Get your garlic cooked. You can smell that. I don't know if the wind's blowing the right way or not for everybody, but um, you know, once you get that, yeah, a Amy's got it for sure. So let that rest for a second. Cook up the garlic and your onions. What did everybody buy at the market today? Anything good? Beautiful pillow for Halloween. Anyone get any fresh vegetables or? fruit today. Nice Brussels sprouts, beautiful. Perfect time for that. We, will, we do have soup available hot and cold if anyone is interested to buy someone uh, we finish up. And we have taste test as well. Thank you mama. All right, now you can't have stuffed cabbage soup without cabbage. And again, this recipe will be on Henry's website and Facebook page. We make huge quantities of this, about 16 quarts at a time. So that recipe is a little different than ours. Any questions, Dave Lewis? You, are you awake? Is this going to be your dinner? Good. I taste tested this morning. It's very good. Does anybody make stuffed cabbage at home? Good. Perfect. What time should we be there? All right. Perfect. Just in time to see the lions get annihilated, right? <laughs> All right. Cabbage, the important thing with this part too here is when you get your cabbage in, let it cook up. You want to make sure that it's not real crunchy. Um, you know, or the other option is if, if you want to you know, do this on a Sunday, you know, make it when you're making your Sunday sauce and you want to let it simmer on the, on the stove for a while. Uh, you don't necessarily have to make sure you get it real incorporated right now. Um, but it's good to try to get that cooked up a little so it's not real crunch, hard and crunchy when you go to have your soup. So we got our cabbage in here. Cooked off pretty good. Let it sit for a minute. We're going to get uh, our carrots put in as well. So early on during COVID, 
ground beef was crazy. It went double in price. Now gloves, these gloves, these $19 for one box. A case used to cost that much. It's just, it's insane what, um, it's been a good life lesson and uh, business lesson, opening up a restaurant being eight months old when this has happened. We've, uh, we've, we've learned a lot. We've, but you know, you just have to persevere and keep, keep coming back the next day. And um, you got great people like Lil who supports us and gives us great ideas to get involved in the community. And um, you just have to keep, keep going and uh, come up with great ideas and be better than the day before and learn from uh, the day before as well. So we, we appreciate everybody. We've got our um, carrots in there now. Let's get a little bit of brown sugar, give it some sweetness in here. And three tablespoons of that. And again, if your doctor says, hey, cut down on your sugar, you know, you know don't, don't add it. You don't have to. Got to find ways to, uh, you know, it's a pretty healthy soup for the most part. All right, so again, next time, I, maybe I'll get a camera on my hat so when I look down, you guys can put a screen up here. All right, we're going to add a little beef broth as well now. And again, for whatever reason, you, you know, you, you say you want to make this at night and on the fly, you, you don't have to use beef broth. Use, use chicken. Use vegetable broth if, if uh, that's what you have. You make your own vegetable broth at home, feel free to do that. We did a uh, watermelon gazpacho presentation for uh, Yelp. Put a can, you know, flat or laptop up and a bunch of people from all over the country watched along but you know kept saying there if you don't have something or you want to make it your own you don't like dill you know somebody used cilantro and instead of using feta they used um, one of the Mexican cheeses that they had queso fresco at home and, and they made it that way and it turned out delicious for them so you know use what you have readily available and um, you know, like I said make the recipe your own little tomato sauce now. And we're, we're getting there, starting to come along to all of these flavors together. I'm going to do samples now. Sure, of course. <laughs> I cooked now, normally right now, also, water is the great equalizer when it comes to cooking in my opinion. Maybe because my granny taught me a lot about cooking and she grew up on a farm in Italy and had a third grade education and they didn't have a lot, but she would make um, all sorts of things and you know, she made a phenomenal she made a phenomenal broccoli and bean soup, and it was broccoli and beans and water and a little bit of garlic. And it was one of the most delicious soups I've ever had. I make it often, and you know we, we are always putting stock in our soups, which obviously make things taste great. But water, water is great as well. And um, you know if you've got people coming to dinner and you're making soup, and all of a sudden three people say, "Hey, I'm bringing a couple friends with us." You know, add a little water in and that stretches it out and um, everybody will, will enjoy it and you'll have more for leftovers the next day too. So again, if you're looking to make this and you want to have it for dinner right away that night, um, you know, you could, you know, make sure it's on high at this point. If you say, hey, you know, I'm going to make my Sunday sauce now, I'm going to do this, I'm going to go change the laundry. You know, if you turn, turn the heat down and let it simmer, you know, you want to get it to a boil. So, um, especially, I, I cooked rice this morning, and I'm going to put the cooked rice in right now, but um, you should cook the rice in with the soup and, um, you know, let it come up to that boil. But then if you want to let it simmer after that, feel free to do that. And, you know, it, it could simmer for a couple hours and let all those flavors incorporate with each other. Here's our rice in. 
We just use a um, white rice that you know we kind of use for everything. We don't use a ton of rice at the restaurant once in a while. Um, this past week with our salmon dinner, I had confetti rice as the, as the starch. Once in a while, we'll do a fried rice, um, depending on you know what features we have. So we just kind of keep a middle of the road white rice. But again, if you have something in your, you know, it can't hurt. You know, it's if especially if you're making it, you know, just for yourself for dinner, it can't hurt putting what you have in the pantry in, in the soup. So Vanna's gonna come around with taste test for everyone. Any questions from anyone? Just ready to taste it? The recipe is on your website? It is not on our website. Um, I don't know where, it, it's gonna be, I'll, I can, we'll have Henry come. St. Clair Shores Facebook page. It's like smell vision, but unfortunately the wind's coming this way and nobody, you can? Good, thank you, Mama. So we use um, Contadina uh, tomato sauce, but you know, if you make your own, if you have, you know, if you want to make this in the winter after you've canned tomatoes during the summer, you know, again, make it, if you don't have that and you want to put diced tomatoes in, you know, add a little more broth and, you know, certainly do, you know, do that. It, it doesn't have to be hard and fast of how, how we do things, you know, do it where, where it's delicious and how, how you like things. So we are going to do, we didn't bring them with us, but we're going to do two um, Corner Kitchen gift cards um, for people. And our first question, we'll write down your name and number. Our first question is, what is our little four-legged baby's name? Does anyone know? <laughs> no, not dog, but we do have one of our, I, I heard it some, yes. All right. We do have one of our, our, one of our guys in the kitchen, his, his word for dog is dosh. So when we have to run home and feed him in the middle of the afternoon, I, I say I have to go feed the dosh. So, and then this one's harder, not for everyone, but how many letters in my last name? <laughs> Too many. How's the soup? Close. And you didn't go over. Mama? No? So the great thing about this soup is it's it's kind of a fall soup in a way because you know cabbage is uh, you know definitely feels like a fall vegetable and um, when you have it but you know, the, the great thing to do is, you know, take things from your garden and if, you know, say you don't have carrots, you know, you could put, you know, if you're doing this in the fall if you, or you go to a farmer's market and they have, you know, root vegetables and you want to put parsnip in or celery root, you know, feel free to do that. I mean, there's, again, just because this is how we make this at the restaurant, obviously we have to be consistent with it and, you know, you make it this way, but you know, go to your garden. If your neighbor comes over, we've got great guests of ours that come, over, come and bring us tomatoes from their garden. There's no reason you couldn't put fresh tomatoes in here and add, the, add that to your soup and, you know, make it more of a, of a vegetable soup. So I, I say it several times, but, you know, make things your own. If, you know, if you make it this way and it says, oh my God, this is perfect and that's how we want to make it every time, feel free to do that. Um, I can try to have it this week for you. Um, we have about probably about 25 soups that we do in rotation and we get a lot of requests for them. Um, if there's some, Amy does keep a list at the restaurant of, you know, hey, when we have cream of mushroom, please call these people. When we have cheeseburger soup, please call these people. So if, uh, if you haven't been yet to Corner Kitchen, um, please come visit us. Um, we're at 22428 Greater Mac. We're about a quarter mile south of Nine Mile. And, um, you know, if you come in and you find a soup that you do like, let us know. Give Amy your name and phone number and we'll certainly call you when we have it. 
we do have grab and go. We didn't do a lot with the soup in the summer, but um, now that we're, you know, fall is here and we're getting to that point, we'll start, you know, right when we make it in the morning, we cool it, cool some of it, you know, the rest is held hot for the day, but we'll start putting some of those in, into the uh, grab and go cooler. How many of you people looked, I see a lot of familiar faces. So how many people have not been to Corner Kitchen? Okay. So, uh, yeah, we have carry out menus here. Um, um, so we have our, we have this stuffed cabbage soup available to purchase if you would like in pints and quarts. We have pints of watermelon gazpacho. Uh, I apologize, we did not bring dill or feta, but we highly recommend that you garnish it with dill or feta. We also have some of our homemade gelato. Again, that's, um, we partnered with Momento Gelato out of Plymouth. Uh, they had a coffee business for a long time, and coffee goes well with gelato. So um, I was introduced to them by a former colleague, and we tried it, and it's absolutely dynamite, and it fits really well with our brand being homemade and especially that they do it uh, the day before they deliver it to us. Uh, we also have Jones Brother Coffee here. We are the only restaurant in the entire country and I believe we're the only physical place in the entire country that you can get Jones Brothers. We serve it daily. Uh, we, always we also have capsules if you would like um, espresso when you visit us. Uh, a friend of mine owns the rights to Jones Brothers, sells most of it online but he, when we were opening up he said hey would you be interested in carrying this and again we said well let us try it and it, it's absolutely delicious coffee and we we just are super happy to have that partnership as well um, i mentioned the hummus we did not bring any of that but same thing again fits our brand we, homemade <laughs> what david <laughs> like, <laughs> sorry but that that's what we're all about freshness you know, served with a smile. We like to treat people like family. My little nine-year-old nephew came to visit us right before we opened and he said, Uncle Shannon, do you live here? And I said, <laughs> I said, no, but that's, that's what we want. We want people to feel like you're coming into our dining room. You know, if you've been there and Amy has, has been there, you know the warmth and um, affection that you feel when you come into the door. So we are very happy that we were able to come out here and make some of our wonderful stuffed cabbage soup for you folks uh, today. Um, again, we also have watermelon gazpacho. We'll have it this week at the restaurant as well. And that'll probably be it for the season for that. That was really cool to do when we did that on Yelp. That was really interesting because I did an hour long watermelon gazpacho demonstration on Yelp. And then like three days later, we went on channel two and had to do it in three minutes. So it was... Uh, <laughs> It, it, luckily we didn't get into the, the recipe too well, the, the anchor really sold it well for us. So we've, uh, we've been fortunate to keep plugging along during this pandemic. We're hoping as uh, everything opens up more that hopefully we'll be able to uh, expand and go back to 100% capacity. And again, if you haven't tried us out, we would love for you to stop by. And um, if there's any questions, we, we still, nobody Googled me. Um, how many? There you go. All right. So these two are one our gift certificates. We'll get your, we'll get your names and um, have you come down. Uh, any other questions from anyone? You know, it's the same family. I, you know, I think if you, the probably the best bet would be to, you know, maybe half them and you know cut the cut the stem. But yeah, I, I don't think, I mean, I, they're a little stronger taste, obviously, but you know, I would put, I would treat them the same way and put them in when you put the cabbage in and saute them. Or what you could do too is do it separately and roast them and then put them in. Like we, I make a, a cauliflower chowder and I'll roast the cauliflower to get that caramelization and then add that into the soup. So, you know, and again, when you're eating a recipe and you, you know, like, oh, I never, I never boil cauliflower. I just, I roast mine. Do it the way you like it because that, that's what tastes good to you. But, you know, if you do something that tastes good, 
it's generally going to be transferable where if you include it into a soup. I don't like Brussels sprouts. <laughs> you know what's really. That soup was excellent. Good, thank you. Okay. You know what's really good with Brussels sprouts? Um, cook up some pancetta or bacon and add them in, and then a little balsamic vinegar at the end. And that's really a um, yummy way to get some of your vegetables in. Yes, sir. Let everybody know your hours and days that you're open. Thank you, thank you. That, that, thank you, Joe. We are open uh, 11.30 to 8, Tuesday through Saturday. Um, our website is cornerkitchenscs for stclairshores.com. We are hoping that we can get back to, prior to the pandemic, we were open for Sunday brunch. We are a 30 capacity restaurant. We do have a beautiful patio. We're looking at trying to enclose that or add heaters or, or do both right now. Um, but we're hoping that if we continue along here and um, maybe get to 75 or 100% capacity again, that we will go back to Sunday brunch. Um, if you go on the website, there's a order online button right when you go on. And at 11.30 every day, our daily features and our daily soups will be right there. And, um, but if you scroll down, the, the entire menu is there. We do have some items that we don't always have. Um, I'm changing how we're doing the meatloaf. We're gonna make it, or the meatballs, we're gonna do that in bigger quantities because whenever we have it, we sell out really fast. So we're making some changes there to get that uh, fully available six, five days a week. And we do catering. We did a catering last night. We had a call from one of our clients or one of our guests, who's now perhaps a client, at four o'clock last Wednesday and said, hey, can you do 60 breakfast sandwiches for 6 a.m. tomorrow morning for a movie shoot in town? And we, uh, we turned around and did that this week. So we, we love to do catering. It's kind of the roots of where I started and it's fun. So if there's any every interest, we don't have a catering menu, but every catering that we've done, we've customized either something from our menu or if somebody said, hey, I'm looking for this, like we don't have breakfast sandwiches on our menu, we j we're happy to do that. There's a lot of things that we love to cook that aren't on our menu and happy to introduce folks to, to those different things. So any last questions before we wrap up? All right, thank you to Henry. Thank you to Farmer's Market Fresh, and thank you, and hope to see everyone soon.